Seven games into the season, the Gales starting to take shape. Veteran leaver Steve Borden among the players returning for this game against the Halton Hills Bulldogs. First period action, Daryl Robertson flips this one for Brad down. He goes in alone on Dustin Helzenka, but he keeps the Gales off the board early on, even if he's not sure that he made the save. Dogs would get the opening goal. Peter Laidlaw from in close on Neil Roberts. That's going to make it 1-0 on the power play goal. Special teams at work once again. Dylan Goddard shorthanded continues his torrid start to the season. Gales trail 3-1 at this point. Roberts keeps his team within striking distance. Big arm save. They can't stop the first period onslaught of the Laidlaws. It's Luke this time 4-1 after one period of play. Clarenton on the power play early in the second period. Nice passing. In close, finished off by Luke Laskowitz. But the next power play does not work it out as well. Jason Crawford pops this shorthanded goal to put his team up by a score of 5-2. to two. Tyler Neuendijk looking for the loose ball. He's crushed by Alex Brennan. And Austin Shanks, his second of the period. The Gales once down 5-2, tie this game up. Third period, the Dogs go right back out in front. It's Connor Brown. It's another power play goal. Make it 6-5. Two minutes on the clock, Laskowitz, hero time. Gets the tying goal to ensure the Gales will not fall in regulation, but we are off to overtime. For the second week in a row, it's the visitors scoring first. Peter Laidlaw gives the advantage to Halton Hills. Austin Shanks scores his third of the night, the 12th of the season. This game is tied up at 7-all. The Bulldogs have a two-man advantage with eight seconds left on the clock and an opportunity to win the game, but Neil Roberts keeps them out. He was the first star of the game for the Gales. Second week in a row, a tie game, both of them, seven all scores. Really, we've uh, we bobbled the ball a little bit. Uh, guys are trying to transition from the field game back to the box game. Guys coming in out of, from out of town, back from school. It, it's, it's been hard, maybe squeezing the sticks a little bit too tight. Uh, a lot of nerves, you know, we've, we've got, you know, targets on our chest every night because we're the Green Gills and, you know, teams are going to come at us hard and, uh, you know, we just got to be um, relaxed enough to be able to take it, you know, and it's just early, early season jitters. We, we dug ourselves in the hole and we found a way to get out of it and it was, it was good to see that, prove that we can do that to ourselves. Obviously, the boys' uh, locker room, everyone was fired up, ready for the second period. No one had their head down, which was uh, something I haven't seen in a long time, which really impressed me, especially with a young bunch of guys. Normally when young players get down, they start to uh, start to impose on themselves, but the boys rallied really well. Everyone, uh, everyone always had good spirits on the bench. Everyone was really, really positive, which uh, definitely helped us out a lot.